G'day guys, how are we going? Well, here we are back here again for uh, another one of uh, Wednesday night live chat with, with you guys. Uh, already see, now there's a few of you guys already on here tonight, which is great. But um, tonight I'm going to chat with you guys um, about a couple of uh, winch rope replacement options in case you're maybe looking to go down that road. Uh, you might have steel cable on there or your current synthetic ropes um, looking a bit ordinary. But anyway, we'll chat about that a bit further as we go down the track. Um, so if you're just tuning in tonight for the first time, thanks very much for coming in and checking out uh, the live chat tonight. Um, Tim Bates is, Bates is my name, and I've got a YouTube channel, Tim Bates Four Drive Ventures, and I film all my travels and trips wherever I go and provide a lot of tips and, tips and hints and those sort of things for all the travels that I go on. So check it out from there if you want to um, find out a bit more about my channel. But again, just drop in and see if you guys there. Um, g'day, t- g'day, Greg. Thanks so much, mate, for dropping in. Adam, cheers, mate. I saw you on the weekend. Uh, Damien, how you going there, mate? Uh, just want to drop in. Uh, and, um, grab me gear. No, I don't know those guys at all, so haven't used, uh, haven't been been around those. Uh, Craig from Two Ventures, thanks so much, mate. Adrian, Adam, there. Thanks so much for coming in tonight. So, I want to have a chat with you guys um, about Ridge. Winch rope replacement options because I've just replaced the the rope on mine, um, but I'll show you. This is my bundle down here. So this is the rope that I've just taken off. Now, absolutely nothing wrong with this option either. You know, synthetic rope, great option here. Um, I've had this one on on that winch there now for for a number of years, and it's been very very reliable, and it still go you know long still. Um, but there's other options out there which I just want to show you. The one that I've now got on here, I've grabbed this one off the guys down there at Carbon Winch um, who have given me this one here so to try it out. So we'll try it out. But this is the one I've got here. So this is just, you know, your standard sort of synthetic rope. Um, certainly a great option if you're, you know, if you're looking, you've got steel cable on on your winch at the moment. You may be looking for some options from upgrades. Well, the synthetic rope is certainly a good way to go. Um, some Plenty of benefits with it. But I'll drag this one in here and we'll show the differences because there's plenty of them. We've got that in good old freeze pull, one prepared earlier. So I'll pull a heap out and I'll show you this one. So check this out, right? This is the two of them now together. Um, so you can certainly see the differences there. Now, inside this one here is exactly the same rope as what I had on before. Still got the same length on it. Still got 24 metres, 25 metres of rope on there is what I had in that pile down there, but there's some big differences. Um, you can see this sort of outer core here, um, this braided outer core here, which, um, you know, provides a lot of protection uh, for, for your rope compared to this one here. You know, it's fairly exposed and, um, you know, get, could potentially get cuts and those sort of things in it, which could sort of damage your rope, whereas this one now is certainly nicely protected. And as we go on, you know, I'll be keen to hear what, what you guys are using, you know, are using a synthetic rope on your winch or you've got steel cable, maybe looking for some options, uh, those sort of things to maybe change it around. Um, but this is certainly a, a good option as opposed to, you know, the, your standard synthetic rope. Um, still, got, still got the same same length on it, as I see, you know, 24 metres still on this one. Um, but the thing with this, this style rope, it takes a fair bit of maintenance too, as they all do. Look, this this one, this style of rope will still take some maintenance as well, but probably nowhere near as much as this. Look, if you're using your, you know, you get out and, you know, you're winching in a lot of, um, you know, mud and clay and bog holes and that sort of stuff, well, this sort of style of rope is going to take a lot of maintenance because you can see how the fibres all open up there and it's, it's that sort of stuff that where all the grit and, grime and sort of stuff gets in there and and can damage the these this sort of style rope over periods of time so you need to make sure if you've got this sort of style um, winch rope on on your winch you got to make sure that you do wash it out and look after it big time particularly if you as i say if it gets dirty and and gets a lot of grit in it whereas the one that i've now got on my winch here this one here it's it's very much protected um, it's got that out, out, of, out of braided core on it. Uh, yeah, look, it can still get damaged as well, but nowhere near as easily as what this particular style rope can do. So it's certainly a good option there, you know, if you're looking to maybe upgrade your, you know, your, your current winch rope and put some other option on there. Um, either one of these is good, but this is certainly a, a good way to go. So if you want to have a chat with the boys down there at Carbon Winch, they can certainly sort you out with these. They come in a few other colours as well, not just in red. There's a 
pretty bright green too, I think, they come in. Um, so certainly have a, have a chat with those guys down there. So what are you guys using? How many of you sort of got what, – what sort of – what have you got on your winches and that sort of stuff? Chris, g'day, mate. There's thanks very much. Jim, thanks very much, mate, for, com- for coming in tonight. Um, Bruce, thanks very much, mate. Thanks for coming in there and checking it out. Uh, how do you splice the new style rope? Well, that's a very good question there, Adam. And you would be able to. Like if, if you were to snap this rope, you can certainly, you know, you can splice that together. Um, and join it and away you go, you know, winch yourself out of a situation. But with this one, you could probably still splice it together. You'd probably have to peel back the, the braided sheath o- o- that's over the top of it. And then on the inside, as I say, you know, you've still got the same sort of rope as that on the on the inside, inside that braided sheath. So just peel back the, uh, the braided sheath and then splice your rope together as you normally would and then away you'd go. Um, Greg, how are you going there, mate? Um, synthetic. You are able to to yeah, spice it up and break it. That's right. Um, might be able to trick. It might be a tricky fix, but yeah, look, it would still still work. You got to really know what you're doing though when it comes to braided. We should do actually a video on that because it'd be pretty handy to show you guys about how to go about joining a rope together just in case you know they do break. Um, but the big benefits with either of these two options compared to a steel cable, you know, if you've got still got the steel cable on your winch, is the weight factor. You know, you, just by putting one of these two options on, you know, you're going to drop the best part of about 20 kilos in weight that's on your front end of your four-wheel drive just by putting a synthetic rope on and getting that cable off. Um, big differences in the weight, certainly a lot safer, a lot easier to use. Um, you know, they're, they're a lot stronger too than opposed to steel cable in some situations. Um, so there's some certainly some really good options there. You know, if you're looking for, you know, an upgrading on your winch cable or rope, whatever you've whatever you got going on, this is certainly a good way to go. Look, there's some major changes going on, you know, with, with technology, with all sorts of recovery gear from, you know, um, straps and ropes and that sort of stuff. And now it's it's working its way into actual winch cable, winch ropes. Um, you know, big changes from, you know, what we've all been using for many, many years. And, and this is certainly the thing going forward. Um, you know, it rolls on rolls on the winch there. You know, no no worries at all. Nice and easily. Um, as I say, it's, it's still the same length, about twenty four meters. Still on that as what I had when I had the same had, had this one on here. But yeah, as you, as you can see, you know, there's some big differences. But you just got to make sure you wash this one out really well because it's that sort of stuff. You know that the fibres and can get damaged pretty easily if you've got one of these this sort of style rope on your on your winch. You got to make sure you wash it out really well. Get that grit and grime out of it if you're going to be out there, you know, winching in bog holes and mud and, and that sort of stuff. So it's it's that sort of stuff. You got to make sure you get it all out of there. Whereas this one's a lot more protected, um, and also from the sun too, which is another thing that that, that synthetic rope generally don't like. Um, can damage them. The UV rays from the sun. Well, this outer core here too will provide you with a bit more protection. You know, with your winch. That's sitting in the top there, and sometimes it depends how your how your bull bars sort of set up, and um, you know the the sun can expose your winch rope a lot more easier with with this sort of setup as opposed to this. So Ross, what's going on there, mate? Hi, team manager. Just got a normal winch rope on mine. Uh, mate's about ninety one feet. I'm talking in feet now. Um, well. Yeah, as long as you've got, um, as long as it's all sorted, the mate, and you've got, got sort of the right gear going on there, that's sort of the main thing. Uh, Bruce Fleming, excellent idea for splicing the video because I would, would have any no, no idea how, how it's done. Yeah, look, we, we should look into doing that because it's a very handy little technique to do. Because um, on the end of my rope, um, whichever end it is, somewhere it's in, in here, um, I'll just find it down here, the other end. And the other thing too with, with these, you know, that they come with this protective sleeve as well, which is certainly a great thing too. You know, if, you, if you're winching over the top of rocks and that sort of stuff, this will slide up and down, down your winch rope and it just provides that added extra protection too. Um, but where's the other end? It's got to find it now. It's down here somewhere. And then I can show you what's on, what's on the other end. When I eventually popped it, I've got this end here. That's the end that had, had the hook on it. Um Oh, can't even find it. How about that? It'll be down here somewhere. Here it is. <laughs> See that end there? Now, 
generally, you know, there's only a little bolt that holds that to the drum of, of your winch. And the only thing with that little bolt there, all it is, it's not a, not a um, strength bolt at all. There's no rating or anything on it. All that is is just so you can roll the drum, you know, roll your rope back on your drum nice and easily. But I have in the past, and I, I should get back to doing it, but I have actually cut that off and I've generally spliced my rope onto the drum. Um and I find that it works really, really well too. So there's a couple of videos there that we should look at doing down the track, and that's certainly splicing the rope just in case you break one and certainly splicing that onto the drum. I've, I've done that with, with part winches in the past because, um, you know, it's really important that, you know, when you're winching your, your rope out, you make sure you leave at least sort of six to eight wraps, you know, on that drum in there um, just to make sure that no tension gets on this. It's only a tiny little bolt. You know, if you haven't looked at it, uh, it's only a tiny little bolt that holds that to your winch. And if you, all your rope comes off, fair income, that little bolt there is not going to hold you anywhere in any sort of situation. So make sure you ever have a look at that too and, and check that out there. Uh, g'day, Gary. What's going on there, Gary Graham? Uh, Luke at Drifter. Camping does a good video about splicing synthetic ropes. Well, there you go, guys. You can check out um, Luke's video there on Drifters. He's done a, obviously done a video there. Well worth handy, looking into and certainly uh, know how to, how to go about doing it because, you know, you just never know. You could be out there, you know, and your, your rope could break and then what are you going to do about it? So you need to find out how to go about splicing those, that, that old rope together. Uh, Greg, the old synthetic rope will be handy for an extension rope. Well, it's funny, it's funny you mention that because like this now, I, I could carry that around with me as a winch extension strap, as a, you know, as a just in case I didn't have one. Um, I'd rather use a winch extension strap because that's what it's designed 100% to do. But, look, this would certainly get me out of trouble if you didn't have one. Um, but I'd certainly rather, yeah, you use those use those straps for what they're 100% designed to do. Um, so the winch extension strap would be a good one for it. Um, g'day, uh, Ed from, from Full Drive and Camping. Um, cost difference between the two. Not really sure on the cost, mate. Um, but if you have a chat with guys down there at Carbon Winch, have a chat with them about, um, the, the two options there. Um, I've, most of their winches now come out sort of standard with this sort of style rope on it. Um, you can upgrade it or that sort of thing to put what I've got on it now. And this is certainly a, a great option. It just feel, it feels great and it's, it rolls on just so much nicer. Um, another thing with these things too, if, you know, if you've been out there, you know, you've done some heavy winching over the weekend or been out there on a trip, you got to make sure that you peel it all off when you get home because the tension that goes through your winch under massive load, it can crush crush your rope. So you got to make sure that you unreel it and then just reel it back on, you know, not, nice and slowly and, and softly and just take all those those really tension points out of it because otherwise it can crush your rope and, and then over time, you know, it, it then can, you know, create some weak points in your rope. So there's a fair bit of maintenance goes with, with rope. As Look, anything really, any sort of recovery gear, it all takes maintenance, but... You know, you just got to look after it and then, you know, it'll do the job, you know, it's designed to do. So there, there's a couple of options there, guys, for you to certainly have a look at. Um, some big differences there with, with those two, certainly two style ropes there. Um, Tasmanian Hillbilly, g'day, mate. How you going there, mate? So there, there's a couple there. So what are you guys using? Are you guys using um, steel or you got steel cable? You got a rope on there? What what have you guys got? You know, we're pretty keen to sort of know. Chuck them in the comments down below and and what options, you know, if have you have you got have you ever busted a rope, if you had to join it back up, you know, be pretty keen to sort of hear about those as well. Um, you know, how you've got yourself out of any situation with with broken ropes. So there you go, guys. Check those couple of options there out and um, and see see sort of where, where you go down the track with with either or one of those. So we'll wrap this up and just have another quick chat with you guys there. G'day, Grouse. How you going there, mate? Uh, just bought a two-inch soft, soft shackles from Carbon. Thanks very much, mate. mate. Yeah, look, all the Carbon gear, look, it's damn good gear. Look, my whole recovery gear at the back there is all full of Carbon gear and um, great company, great product. So certainly well worth having a check out. I've got a couple of their soft shackles in, in the back of my patrol there, which, you know, just in case I certainly need them. Um, so check those out there. Um, George, what's going there? What is the rope rated at, at its approximate? It, they're both rated. I'd have to check to check the actual breaking strain of these things, but they're both exactly the same. The only difference is with these two ropes is the outer core. So 
Um, you know, breaking strain, the strength of the rope, everything is exactly the same. But the thing is that it comes with this outer core on the outside there to just provide that, you know, extra protection um, from all those elements, whether it be UV, you know, sharp objects, that sort of stuff. So it's certainly a great option there. Um, like even some of the soft shackles now there, you know, they're all coming out with the, this sort of braided sheath over the top. Again, it just provides that extra protection. Um, because, you know, the old, the old rope, it can can cut if it's, you know, obstructed there by sharp objects and that sort of stuff. So this braided option going forward, it's certainly a, a good option to have a look at. You know, I'm not saying now you've got, you know, you've got to race out and, and pull the rope off that you've got if you've got synthetic rope on your winch at the moment. You don't have to necessarily go out there, rip it off just to go and get yourself one of these. But, you know, if you're looking for an upgrade, whether it be, you know, if your current rope is looking a bit ordinary and you're looking to replace it or you've got the steel cable on, on your winch at the moment and, again, you're looking for a replacement option, um, these this this style rope would be certainly a good way to go. So have a chat with those boys down there at Carbon and they'll certainly sort, sort you all out. Uh, Anthony, how's it going there, mate? Have, have you ever been... <clears throat> Had your winch cable break? No, well, I, I never have, mate. I've had plenty of winching not, um, situations going on over time, but I've never had one break, which is probably a good thing. Um, be pretty nasty, nasty position to be in if you know if you're sitting on the side of a hill and trying to get yourself up and, and your and your rope breaks. So, luckily, no, I haven't. But I've certainly been in a number of winching operations, whether it be myself or you know recovering another number of people over the time. So lucky it hasn't broken at this stage. Um, so there you go, guys. We'll we'll wrap this one up and um, we'll chat with you guys again next week. So thanks very much again for for dropping in and uh, look forward to having a chat with you guys. Same same time, same bat channel next Wednesday night. We'll see you then. Good on you guys. You have a cracker. See you later on.